snowfall. So here is our system. Right now, we have snow coming into Wichita, rain into Tulsa, Oklahoma City. We are dry. Dodge City, we're seeing the snow. And by the way, a lot of these areas with our second system could see blizzard or near blizzard conditions. This is going to be a big time storm, our second one. This one giving us some gusty weather into places like Oklahoma, uh, also into Springfield. But that's nothing relative to what we're going to see with our second one. So this is very, very weak, relatively speaking, at least for this area. And it's all going to be pulling uh, eastbound as we head throughout the day today. And you still have to wait for that upper level energy to get through that could keep you a little bit cloudy and maybe a few snowflakes still lingering behind the system. Overall, three to five, but you know, someone always likes to overachieve, so we might run into that here into Kansas. Wichita, we do have snow temperature sitting right around freezing, so it's going to be wet and maybe even bounce back a little bit here, get some rain mixing, and you see our radar is having a little bit of a hard time. It's like, wait, is that rain? Is that snow? Depending on the droplet size. Um, so we could see a little bit of this rain mixing in, especially as the day progresses. I wouldn't be shocked uh, with some of those milder temperatures that we have. It's not like we're well below freezing. So as we go through the afternoon, things will improve around dinner time here into Wichita as our whole system continues to go east. And this is why we're saying, you know, three to five, but we could have spots that perhaps see a little bit more than that. When it comes to snow, it always an over next system and look at that energy coming in here it is all the way off the west coast you see that swirl coming in and that is going to be making its way eventually ashore and then track through the center of the country and then through the Midwest and the Northeast. This thing is going to be enormous. It's going to be bigger than the first one that we're dealing with, Ember, today. We have cold air in place on the north side, warm air in place on the south side, which means we could see some of that.